go to www.rugsata.com and click the link to the Joe JavaScript machine learning tutorials. JJO7-minced.html is about loading the minced handwritten data set using only the web browser, JavaScript, and the Google Pair Projects DeepLearn.js. Your web browser will learn how to identify human handwriting of numbers, traditionally a difficult task for a computer. Go to the original model builder at deeplearnjs.org slash demo slash model dash builder, but reduce the model down to only the last two layers, flattened and fully connected. Train it, watch the predictions, and that is what we're going to build. Notice the 28 by 28 by 1 shape of the input images and how they're flattened to 784, then fully connected to 10, while softmax and labels are also at a shape of 10. When I hit run on jj07-mints.html page, this easiest model builder should run. Let's look at the code. If you click the yellow text area and paste the code into Notepad++, then we can reference line numbers when talking about the code. Line 1. Script tag to DeepLearn.js. Remember to try deleting everything after the at symbol to see if the latest version of DeepLearn.js still works on this code. Line 10 to 15, various constants in capital letters, such as batch size equals 64 and train step equals 100. Line 18 to 24 sets up more items like my math, which we've seen before, weights and optimizers, weights being randomly set. Line 27 sets a JSON constant, has information about the online location to access the mints data set. Line 52 defines the only class in this program called mnist data with a constructor and several async methods, which are next train batch, next test batch, next batch, load, get training data, get test data, along with a helper function called concat with nulls. Most of these methods do what the name implies. They have slightly different calculations based on if the network is training data or testing the data. Have a good look at next batch because it looks like it's reshaping the data to either 784 or 10 based on if it's the handwritten digits or the labels. The load method is the main method for loading the immense data set, so keep an eye out for it. Line 145 defines the first async function called train, which covers a lot of high functioning ability looking after the main training of the data set. It loops for the defined number of training steps, then uses the optimizer to minimize, sends my data to next train batch, returns an average of the softmax, prints the cost, then using a wait, activates the next frame of the loop when the calculations have been completed. Line 167 has the function predict, and line 176 has show test results. These help predict the outcomes. First function predict uses mymath.scope and argmax with matmol to make calculations, returning an array of predictions. While show test results helps print everything to the web page, mainly by looping through the test examples using DeepLearn.js slice 2D the canvas CSS, and the draw function while setting predictions and labels, pending and displaying the results on the web page. Lots of JavaScript and CSS stuff going on here. The last function at line 207 is called draw, and it helps draw the 28 by 28 pixels that form each mince handwritten digit. Surprising how many calculations are needed to present this to the screen. At line 228 is the main entry point async function called myminced. It activates a variable called myData as a new data class, then uses the method called load to get the images and labels into the program. Line 237 calls the train function. Lines 241 to 254 does the prediction and testing of the test set while showing the data on the web page by calling the predict and show test results functions. Line 266 sets the canvas and some CSS for predictions. If correct, sets the color green, and incorrect sets the color red in the CSS containers. Then we have HTML code which shows the web page title and a link to the original model builder website. The web page's only button that calls the entry point function called my mints from line 228. The last part of the page has three divs that the program uses to communicate with the user. Status div just shows what is happening. Message div mainly prints the cost function from line 154. The train function and image div is where the resulting test images are appended and contained. Let's click the button, the run button. First, mince data set is loaded. It takes quite a while, uh, depending on the speed of your network and your um, computer. Then the network trains for 100 loops, then very quickly presents 50 test digits and grades if the prediction was correct or not. Done! This beginner introduction to machine learning in the web browser uses only JavaScript and DeepLearn.js. Joe JavaScript out.